Hello everyone. Welcome to this online session from us Vidyashram to you anytime anywhere. I am Anandi Ravindra, faculty Department of Mathematics Vidyashram. In today's session, I'll be taking you through the teaching learning experience we are going to have during this academic year. What we are going to go through is the syllabus along with the weightage of marks, pattern of question paper and chapters recommended to score more than 50% marks. Now first is the syllabus. Totally in your syllabus you have total of 5 units comprising of 21 chapters. In unit 1, you have matrices determinants, permutation combination, probability, binomial theorem, partial fractions and mathematical logic and you can clearly see the weightage of marks for each chapter. Likewise, unit 2, commercial arithmetic which consists of again around 6 chapters. Next is unit 3. Trigonometry. I know when I say trigonometry, most of you must have been scared of it because you would have studied that in your class 10. Still, I would like to tell it's an easy chapter. You have two topics in this, heights and distances and then compound angles. Now, I would like to tell you something at this point of time that heights and distances is the same as what you have learnt in your class 10. Even when you go through the, some of the questions when we do those chapter, you will recall what you had learnt in class 10. So, this is going to be an easy ride for you. Next, unit 4 is analytical geometry. It consists of circles and parabola. Though the words are familiar for you, but still it is a very, very easy chapter and easily one can score that total marks there. These are two lessons which are very easy. Next is unit 5, calculus. This is something totally new for all of you. There are around 5 chapters in this, limits and continuity, differential calculus, application of derivative, definite integrals, indefinite integrals. Though this is totally new to you, when you get familiar with all the 4 units, this 5th unit is also going to be very easy for you all to learn. So, in all we have totally 21 chapters which are included in 5 units. Next, what we shall look into is the pattern of the question paper which is more important for you all since you are facing your board exam. Your pattern of question paper is the same as that you had faced in your first PUC, still a recall on that. That is, totally your question paper has 5 sections. That is, section A consists of 1 mark questions and there are totally 10 questions and there are no choices in that. You have to answer all the 10 questions carrying 10 marks. Your section B, 2 mark questions. The meaning of this is totally there are 14 questions out of which you have to answer any 10 in that. So, 10 into 2, 20 marks. Likewise, section C also has 14 questions in it out of which you need to answer 10 questions which gives you 30 marks and section D 6 out of 10 again 30 marks and section E consists of 2 questions. Each question has got 2 subdivisions that will be your 49th and the 50th question in your question paper. It will have 2 subdivisions each that is the first subdivision will carry 6 marks and the second subdivision will carry 4 marks. So out of the 2 questions you have to answer any 1 question. So, that gives you 10 marks. On the whole, the whole paper is for 100 marks. That is, your whole question paper will have in all 50 questions, you have to answer 37 comprising which gives you a total of 100 marks. And for the section E, there are certain specific chapters. Only from those chapters, those 6 mark questions and 4 mark questions will be asked. It will not be asked from all the other 
chapters so you can really concentrate on that to score that complete 10 marks from section e at this point i would like to tell you something that is there is no need for going in for any reference book to prepare i am very sure you all would have collected the previous year's question papers for your practice but the textbook problems and the worked out examples are more than sufficient to score a hundred even had you not been very comfortable with math till your 10th standard or even you had you had a little struggle in your first puc still i can tell you you work sincerely definitely it is easy for you to score a distinction so it is not that had you had a phobia for the subject it is not that that should continue in your second puc all that is required from you all is attend the sessions regularly be sincere in it be sincere in doing your homework any assignment that is given to you be sincere in doing it and then practice very well on a regular basis so these three things if you really follow and take up all the tests that are given to you very seriously it is not at all difficult to score a 100 and definitely i can say you can get definitely a distinction okay next what we shall see is some chapters that are recommended for you to score a 50 percent now for those of you who still find math to be a difficult subject in spite of its the difficulty some of you must have chosen this subject out of parents choice or you wanted to do something well in life but one thing for sure children definitely choosing this subject will help you in many competitive examinations for those of you who find math difficult and still want to just get through with that subject there are a few chapters which are recommended to score more than 50 percent let us see what are those topics now if you see here we have given the list of around seven topics okay so if you go through these seven topics if you learn these seven topics sincerely and regularly you are sure to score a 60 percent which means a first class so when you can learn these seven chapters definitely you can learn a few more chapters and push your score beyond 80 percent so when i say these seven chapters it just out of 21 chapters 7 chapters means you are going to learn only one third of the book so i want you to concentrate more on these topics besides that you will automatically develop interest with the other topics and you can do very well so just follow these guidelines sincerely children that is attend these sessions regularly whatever assignment is given to you do that regularly and you can take up all the tests very seriously and do effectively i am sure you all will come out with flying colors wishing you all the best for a successful academic year and for all of you to do very well in your board exam until i meet you in the next session wishing you all good luck stay safe and stay happy at home thank you